How do you choose an excursion? There are usually many more options than time available in port. So how do you decide what to do? Thank you, Dennis. That is an excellent question. And yeah, um, if anything, I think in Dennis's question, he understates the uh, options. There's normally probably in the neighborhood of 100 different excursions, and you can probably only do one, perhaps two. Now, some of the excursion options might be combinations of multiple activities. For example, in Jamaica, at Ocho Rios, uh, I did the Jamaica bobsled, you may remember. Um, I could have combined that with Duns River Falls and I think one other attraction uh, at a higher price, but I could have done multiple things in a single excursion. So uh, watch out for those, but I would be uh, leery. I would advise against booking more than one actual excursion uh, because they normally all sort of start early in the day, uh, somewhere often between 9 and 11 in the morning. So later ones might include maybe a parasailing where it's like $100 for seven minutes of sailing. A little overpriced in my opinion. I think locally you can get uh, better priced options rather than having to go through carnival there. Um, but there's very few things that are short enough that you can fit in additional excursions. So how do you pick? That can be tricky. It's a very good question. I think that part of the decision making process has to factor in the price. Uh, for most people. Uh, the Atlantis excursion, for example, in Nassau and the Bahamas, which we were originally planning on doing on this trip before uh, Hermine came along, was uh, pretty expensive. The price has gone up. When we did that back in 2013, it was a little over $100, including lunch, uh, but it's up to $200 now, and that's 200 American. So for us Canadians, we have to also factor in the currency conversion, and that's $200 per person. Uh, so that that is a big factor. Um, you also want to sort of just uh, you know be choosy because you're only going to get one day in most ports. So you know allow yourself to be picky about it and say you know if you're not big into snorkeling and you want to straight up rule out anything that uses the word snorkel, go right ahead. Why waste the time and the money on something that you want you don't want to do? Uh, it's also good to find out what the other people in your group want to do because maybe someone's really committed to something and maybe you'll be keen on doing that as well. Um, also, a lot of the excursions, they might sound like they occur in different places, but sometimes they're different packages to the same beach or resort. So sometimes it's good to uh, check the details and find out, oh, is this a option where, you know, maybe Sam will want to do snorkeling at this beach and I can do the beach excursion and his package is 60 and mine will be 40, but we'll be in the same place in the same vicinity. So he'll go off and just do, he'll do a snorkeling, but afterwards, you know, we'll meet up under the same palm tree for, you know, maybe an unlimited drink package or something. So uh, choosing your own excursion, um, it really is very personal. Uh, I think it's really hard to tell someone what they want to do. Um, I recommend doing some research, obviously. Look at the hundred or so options for each port. Sometimes I put it in an Excel list with the prices. They often list the activity time, the activity level from mild to uh, advanced or extreme. I forget the terminology. So factor that in. Do you want to be going on a five-hour hike in the middle of your vacation? Uh, are you comfortable, you know, doing cave tubing or whatever else, you know, might be on the excursion? Uh, your physical fitness and the time you want to spend on it is, is good to factor in. And remember that you're going to be doing this in probably a hot climate in most cases, unless you're going to Alaska or Canada. So uh, factor that in when you're thinking about, okay, yeah, I can go for a five-hour hike in Vancouver in the spring, but do I want to do that in the Caribbean in the summer? It has a different sort of energy cost to it, a different difficulty level. So uh, yeah, uh, do your research. Uh, we try to post videos, obviously, of excursions uh, on the Vacation Impossible cha uh, channel on YouTube. So check out our videos if it's anything there. Uh, also feel uh, free to write into us. You can contact us through Twitter at VacayImpossible is the Twitter handle for the team. And uh, you can ask about something.